at the Peterson Strobe Tuner booth. I wanted to visit this booth mainly because I'm a huge advocate for Peterson Strobe Tuners. Uh, if you've watched any of my stuff before, you know that I have a big passion for being in tune. Like Peterson says, you're either in or you're out. There's a lot of tuners out there, uh, but however, most of them do not get you on that zero cent. So, Peterson Strobe Tuners has a new tuner out. It's the Strobo Clip HD. This is their product that they're releasing here at NAM. It is a high definition clip tuner, which is crazy. It's super smooth, but more importantly, it has the strobe technology, which is super accurate. Peterson has been used in many uh, industries like bridge building, suspension bridges. They're stretched and the vibration is tested for complete accuracy to stretch suspension bridges. Helicopter blade builders, they shape helicopter blades and they test uh, the vibrations of the blade for accuracy using Peterson strobe tuners. Peterson's been around for over 60 years. They're an iconic brand and I don't see why anyone would use anything else. Like Peterson says, you're either in or out. Let's go check out some more of their stuff. We're with Chris Labriola. Chris has been with Peterson for how long? 15 years. 15 years. Wow. Well, you're the reason why like some of the some of this product line has, has kind of came to be, right? Sure. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> well, I, I say that because yeah. I know you, and uh, Chris has done a lot of like the um, app app development. Is that right? Yeah, some of that, yeah. Okay. A lot of a lot of industrial design stuff. You know how it looks and feels and the layout of the screens and things. Interesting. So something I want to bring up is, you know, Peterson has a technology, strobe technology, that you guys have used for well forever. I mean, yeah. you guys don't own strobe technology, right? We do now. We do now. Yeah, I mean, we're the only wow. one making true strobe tuners. There's a lot of simulations out there. Yes. But in terms of analog strobe tuners, um, we're the only ones really doing that. You know, the only competitor wow. was Con, and we bought them back in the '80s. So we're kind of the only deal in town for strobe tuners. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you guys have such an old technology, how do y'all keep re innovating? You know, uh, re innovating, innovating, yeah. re innovating sure. to to kind of grow Peterson's reach and brand to make it continue to be different. Yeah. Well, I think you gotta you gotta keep changing the form factor to be you know what people expect these days. The design, you know, the way that the interface works has to be what people are used to, and that's right. obviously changing with mobile devices and how people experience products now. It's all different. You yeah, know? you got to keep up with that. And, and you know, we try to make things. All of our new products are firm, more updatable, so that you know, as we get response on social media of how things should work, we can you know basically push out firmware updates, and anybody who connects to our website has the newest software. You, know, you got to do that. Too. Um, briefly, how does this is your latest product, the yeah. HD Struggle Clip? Right. How does the uh, how does this tuning technology work in relation to like the analog strobe with the motors and the lights? How does this work in relation to that? Well, it's essentially the same thing, and I think that's that's kind of hard for people to see because they say, well, this is not an analog, it's digital, mechanical device, right? right? It is a digital screen, but internally it is an analog strobe tuner. You're still it's still a phase comparison against a standard. So the screen is basically updated at the rate that the lights would flash. On Much. It's yeah. awesome seeing you. Good again. to see you. Man. It's been really good. By the way, and uh, thanks for the tour. Yeah.